Four years ago, I was scouted to be a model. What started as an ego boost slowly rotted into daily three-hour workouts and an eating disorder. I remember walking around the shopping center with my childhood friend and throwing away a Ben & Jerry's ice cream cone because I couldn't stand the sight of my own reflection in the store window. I love ice cream, but the need to fit a superficial standard made me lose sight of the things I cherished most. When I look back at photos of myself in 2017, I can't help but laugh because the person staring back at me is a total stranger. Looking through my notes app for this project, I discovered a poem I wrote in the midst of this self-hatred. There is a perfect girl, golden locks rest on her shoulders, her skin glistens when cameras flash and shimmers in the sun. A delicate mole is placed just above the turn of her upper lip. Each eye has a pupil, the color of the sky on the bluest of a day, lashes as long as the wings of butterflies sprout from her oval gaze. No extra weight sits on her curves. She is perfect. This perfect girl smiles and radiates in the spotlight. She dances and poses to their heart's content. People admire her and desire her. She has a sense of humor and never faltered in school. She is perfect. But the perfect girl lives inside a house of glass, just so when the sun sets, she can see all of her angles. She says, none of them are right, I'm not enough. She wipes away her lashes when her tears begin to stream. Alone on her floor, she pulls at her side, hoping to tear off the doughy flesh. She sobs. If she wasn't as smart and wasn't as pretty, would it be then she deserved their pity? She has it so easy, what could she have to worry about? But she gets pointed at when she misses a single step. She feels violated when she puts on a pound. She cries every time she fails to answer a question. If all they see is a perfect girl, what will happen when they realize she is just as flawed as them? Or will she forever be perfect until her glass shatters and someone recycles her shards into yet another perfect person? The reality of media, fast fashion, high fashion, brand influencers, and modeling is that wealthy, elitist designers and agencies contract utopias filled with houses of glass. And they happen to be our real estate agents. They need us to feel inadequate so they can sell us our glow-ups. They want us to feel small in front of million-dollar billboards plastered with perfect people. They contract celebrities and influencers so we can feel personally related to their products. They save face every June and February when it suddenly becomes on brand to support minority groups. They have made it expected that we judge others based on their appearance. They prey on and pillage our planet under the guise of helping the penniless. They replace childhoods with textiles and write off building mishap massacres. They ruin creative small businesses with nitpicking lawsuits. They distract us with pinup dolls so we don't notice their bigotry. They groom young individuals so they follow perfect instructions and laugh in their face when they say, me too. And at the end of the day, they blame us. They tell us that their slaves can't make better money anyway. They tell us that we are liars or snowflakes or obsessives or weak when we say we want the market to change. They tell us that the trees will grow back and that the animals will find a way. They tell us that without their practices, we couldn't afford to look decent. They tell us that we should be grateful. Well, I am not grateful. I was not grateful when they told me at 125 I needed to lose the extra pounds. I was not grateful when they asked me for a thousand dollars just to have a chance to be put in their books. I was not grateful when I passed out from exhaustion and malnourishment, and I was not grateful when I cried myself to sleep looking at photos of other models in my agency. I was not grateful when the people I liked shoveled food off my plate to keep me skinny. I was not grateful for the years I spent trying to be someone I was not. The thousands of birds that died so Naomi Campbell, Cardi B, Kendall, and Kylie could show off their extreme wealth at the Met Gala were also not grateful. The 2,500 factory workers who were injured and the 1,134 that died in the 2013 Dhaka garment factory collapse in Bangladesh were not grateful. The children forced to work heinous hours, never getting a childhood, are not grateful. 
but no living thing that is directly affected by this vile industry is grateful, but they are wrong. You are beautiful. You are enough. You are striking. You are handsome. You can be a model. You can design clothing. You can walk a runway. You don't need money or an expensive camera. You don't need to change anything about yourself. You don't need an explanation to wear what makes you happy. You don't need to look like anyone or anything. You don't need washboard abs. You don't need an hourglass figure. You don't need clear skin. We don't need false representation. Anybody can be a model. Anybody can represent a brand. And anybody can put on a fashion show. So, let's smash some glass houses, shall we? Do you ever worry about my sanity? Not anymore. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's zoomed by. <laughs> Recycle, reuse, reduce you to pieces. <laughs> <laughs>